Hello guys, welcome to a new episode of FM 2018. In this episode we are going to do a mini guide and we are looking at one really great club from Portugal. It's Benfica. This club won a European title in 1961, so this is a really famous club. We are going to check finances, we are going to check team dynamics, we are going to check what kind of tactic best suits to this club. So let's start from the finances guys. Okay, as we see, we have 15 millions in our transfer budget. It's not such a big money, but still we can afford to buy one really great player or two good players. Wage budget, it's not bad at all. We still have some money. Um, we have around 8 millions more to spend. That's really nice. Okay, now let's check team dynamics. And as we see, guys, uh, the most important and team leader is one of the, this is a legend of Benfica, Luizal, really, really legend of this club. He played a lot of European games and he is, he is really great player. I mean, he was great player because now he is a really too old for some serious football. As we see, he is very, very slow right now. Acceleration only 8 and pace only 9. Uh, still has a lot of experience. His mental attributes are really good, but that's not enough. Um, I would uh, risk a bit and I would sell Luizal. I mean, he is 36 years old. Okay, now let's check some other guys like Julio Cesar, uh, goalkeeper. Uh, he's 37 years old, but he's goalkeeper, so for now I would keep him. And there is a left back, Luizal. He's not bad, but also 33 years old. Okay, uh, now let's check some um, other players. As you see guys, Benfica has a lot of players who are on loan to other clubs, in other clubs. A lot of good players. For example, I would uh, pay attention to those guys. For example, this guy Luka Jovic, he's playing for Eintracht Frankfurt and he has really nice potential. So, you should uh, watch on this guy, he's very young, 19 years old. Then another interesting player is uh, Andre Horta, also also nice player a young player uh, but most of those players I mean most of those players are playing for other clubs and you can't recall them from loan that's a problem so you need to wait one season to get them back okay uh, another interesting player is Murillo uh, this is a nice inside forward very fast player 21 years old and he is on loan to Turkish club Kashim Pasha but still we need to wait for him okay uh, and let's check other players there is this is a best player in, in my opinion I mean best player who is on loan he's on loan at Besiktas uh, Taliska really good good at attacking midfielder look he's finishing 17 composure 16 he's has really nice physical attributes so you need really you really need to to get him back yeah and build team around this player uh, yeah okay let's check some other players let let's check uh, team depth squad depth yeah okay personally i would play with the one striker because on that position we have jonas who is really good but 33 years old so in my opinion it's the right time to sell him and to earn some money fantastic finishing but look guys he's 33 years old we need money, we need younger players, and plus we have some younger players on that position. We have uh, Haris Seferovic, a uh, really interesting player, 25 years old. His best role is complete forward or deep line forward. So it depends. Um, not slow, not bad in the air, strong player. I mean, really ma nice mental efforts, not bad striker. Uh, we have, any, uh, if you're going to play uh, some um, counter tactic with a uh, Passing into space, some fast, direct football. This player best suits to that tactic. That's Raul Jimenez. Very fast striker, 26 years old Mexican. Uh, so, depends what do you want to play. Basically, uh, I would play with deep line four, and that would be Harry Seferovic. So, first sub would be Jimenez and Jonas. I would sell this guy, yeah. Okay, so we are coming to inside forwards and wingers. In my opinion, the best part of Benfica are those players. On the left side, we have Franco, really amazing left winger, 
he's very fast, he's, he has great dribbling, uh, fantastic first touch, fantastic technique. So this is this is a player uh, has a long this player has a long contract and you should build your team around these guys. Uh, especially this player should be first choice on the left side. Then we have Andrea Zivkovic, also great, great winger. But in my opinion, I would use Andrea Zivkovic on the right side and he would play as an inside forward on the right side. So pair of wingers would be on the left side, Franco on the, left, on the right side would be uh, Andrea Zivkovic. Okay, then we have another player, very interesting player, 27 years old, Argentinian. Uh, that's um, also very good winger, Eduardo Salvio. But problem is that he's 27 years old, and maybe it's a good time to sell him and to to uh, to give chance to some younger players like Andrea Zivkovic. Uh, there is uh, Rafa Silva. He's also very fast player, 24 years old, and he would be my first sub for the left side the, or for the right side. Depends. Okay, then we have this player who is on loan from Inter. Uh, we can buy him for 25 million. It's not a, it's a really big money. But this guy is really, really great. I mean, he has really great potential. So, as you see, he can be really tremendous winger or inside forward. Uh, he is only 20 years old. So, if, if you have money to spend, yeah, maybe this can be a really good choice. Okay, we are coming to positions of CMs. There we have Pizzi, really great advanced playmaker. Uh, only problem is that he's 27 years old, but yeah, you, you must keep him. Fantastic technique, fantastic first touch. He is really amazing advanced play, playmaker. For now, I would keep him for one or two seasons, and then I would sell him to get some money and to get some young players. Okay, then we have Ljubomir Fesa, but actually he can play as a CM. He's much better as an entry man. So I, I would not use him as a CM. Um, the other player would be Augusto. Really nice Brazilian CM, advanced playmaker too, but he's, he can play as a deep line playmaker, roaming playmaker. So my pair of CMs would be Pizzi and Augusto Felipe. Uh, there is another interesting player, very young player. Uh, this Croatian, 21 years old, Filip Krovinovic. So this guy has a future so you need to give him chance in some games okay also advanced playmaker uh then we are coming to position of dm there is a lubomir face a really great dm uh only problem is that he's a bit older 28 years old but fantastic tackling really great and man uh, for now i would keep him i would not sell him okay then we are coming to the position of uh left full back and that's Alex Grimaldo also you need to build him around this guy why he has fantastic potential and he's also very great very good complete wing back so this would be my first choice on the left side uh, first sub can be Alizar uh, this old player um, so maybe we need to search for one more full back who can play on both sides that's a problem and as I said before, the worst part of Benfica, central defenders. We have legend of this club, Lizal, but as I said, he's too old for some serious football. His uh, physical attributes, especially because Benfica doesn't want to play with um, some uh, counter-attacking football. They want to dominate in uh, Portugal's league, so we need some faster central defenders. He's too old and too slow. Uh, then we have uh, Jardel, I mean he is also very old, 31 years old, and I would sell him too. And then we have this guy Leandro Lopez, Lisandro Lopez, not bad CB, not bad CB, he is 27 years old, and this is the only CB uh, who is going to be in the first team in my, if I would play with the Benfica, I would play with him, yeah, and I would buy two central defenders, so, First thing I would do in a transfer window, I would search for central defenders, at least two central defenders. And I already have found some players, and I want to show you those players, they're really good choice. Okay, so uh, first on the list is uh, Kevin Gomis. Why? He's free agent. 
Yes, he's 28 years old, but still he's free agent. He's a uh, fast central defender, very strong central defender. I mean, this is someone who can really help, especially because we can get him for free. Uh, okay, the other player uh, also very cheap is um, okay. Boyata. This is a uh, 26 years old Belgian, also very fast player and also very cheap defender. So, if you want to buy uh, some cheap players, those guys are really good options, especially because we need some good central defenders. And those guys are maybe not perfect, but they are. They are okay, and they can really help this Benfica. Okay, now let's check some other players, uh, some young players. Okay, there is one very interesting kid. That's Thiago Dantas, only 16 years old. Uh, maybe he's a bit slow, but he can be really amazing central midfielder. I would put him, uh, of course, uh, some good tutor and some good training. For example, quickness. Because he really needs to improve those sets with acceleration and pace. Okay, guys, now let's check the tactic. As I said, I would play with two wings. And, for example, on the left side, I would play with Franco. On the right side, inside forward, Živković. Deep lying forward, Seferovic. Then two CMs, uh, one advanced Primoku Pizzi and the other Felipe Augusto. Faisa, Andrew Mann. Then uh, on the left side, Grimaldo is a complete wing back. Uh, you can choose some duties, but for, uh, this would be my formation, especially because I said the best players in Benfica are on the position of wingers or inside forwards. Okay, guys, this was a mini guide of this great club from Portugal. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, don't forget to press the button subscribe. Bye bye and see you in some new episodes.